Have we got any Wigan fans in in the classroom today? Yeah, a few, a few of you. Yeah. Oh God. That's always a good question to ask. Hey! 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 Hello, can you see me? Hello, we can see you now. <laughs> good morning. Thank you for being with us today. So we've just had a, a lesson all on diversity. So we've been looking at um, different our differences and how we can celebrate them in teams. So we've talked a little bit about um, different animals to start with. So we was looking at how different animals would uh, be part of a team and how they would bring different qualities to that team. Then we looked at some sports people yeah, and then we finished yeah. with celebrating our differences and things that we had in common in the classroom as that team. So the children have just got some questions around diversity. We've got Zach, though, no. question, if that's okay. <laughs> What's it like working with people from other countries? Um, it's quite annoying to be honest with you. Um, what I've noticed is there is no language barrier because I haven't gone to Spain or I haven't gone uh, to Italy or even further abroad. So there's no language barrier because they are able to speak um, obviously English um, but it, it's, it's, it's quite it's the same as just working with um, someone who's from England or someone who's from um, the area that we're already from so it, it, it's um, pretty similar to just work, working with working with a normal person from um, England. Jay yeah, does it um, does it help to teach you and the rest of the team, when, you, when you're working with people from different cultures and different backgrounds, um, does it help to educate you and um, yeah. give you a little bit of insight into how they've lived maybe, maybe a previous life before football? Yeah, I think there's loads of struggles. Um, everyone has different types of struggles. Um, and it, it, it does help me to appreciate that, so, you know, I, I'd say that, in England, my, my life's been quite quite fine. You know, I mean, I haven't gone through big, big, massive struggles. Um, but in other places, you know, they, they not, might not be as fortunate. So um, from that side of things, I think it helps me to appreciate, well, you know, the resources that we have here has is, is, is been good. And, um, you know, it's not, it's not easy for everyone from, from the other side, like other side of the world or wherever they're, they're from. Um, obviously, you'd probably be able to make different, like find differences in between maybe culture or, yeah, you'd be able to find differences in culture. But ultimately, I think it's a, it's a learning process and, and everything's education, I think. I think there's more that everyone can learn from. Um, even now, even to this day, I'm 28 and I'm still learning from different people's cultures. Um, but I just think it's important for us to take it on board and, and kind of, you know, um, yeah, take it on board and, and, and move forward um, and, and take it as a learning process because everybody's different in the world, not just from someone from a different country. It might be, um, you know, I'm a male and you're a female. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So that's, that's a bit different, but we still can, by middle ground and we can learn about each other's experiences. Absolutely. Do we have another question from the children? We've been looking obviously at, you've talked about George Floyd and all the instances in, in yeah. Black Lives Matter and we've had a fantastic yeah. dialogue about it and we're all talking about diversity. So David has got a personal question, it's completely up to you whether you choose to answer it, that, if that's okay, Jay. That, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Um, listen, I think I think us speaking about it makes us more aware about these these issues. Um, so I think it's, it's all a learning process, and I think it's it's very you know I think it's something that we need to speak about because that's that's the only way we're going to move forward with these type of questions. So I'm fine with the question. Thank you very much, okay, David. Have you ever been affected by racism? Maybe in my younger days, you know, I've gone to like now if I've gone to a different neighbourhood. Um, 
certain things have probably been said to me, um, not nice things, and it might be to do with um, the, color, the color of my skin. Um, but I think that's just lack of education from the, pe the, the person who's, you know, calling me those names. Um, maybe that person, the neighborhood that I was in wasn't heavily um, multicultural. So it was, it was, it, they, didn't many, they didn't have many black people in that area. Um, and there wasn't many minority, uh, ethnic minority people in those areas. So because they haven't been around people of minority, like ethnic minority, they might not understand the differences and they might not understand the uh, culture differences. And that, you know, I might not look the same in terms of appearance, in terms of color of skin. So again, that was just lack of education from those type of people. Um, and you know, you just move on, but you just move on from it because you know you've got to understand that not everybody has um, this mind, this thought process. Um, you know, some people are fortunate to be around loads of different cultures, so that helps them to understand the culture, and they won't have ignorant views. So um, I have I have been racially abused before when I was younger, um, but. It's something that happens in the world. Uh, we can't get away from that. But hopefully things will change, um, you know, and people will have a better education on the matter. Thank you very much. That's, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to, we're trying to educate and, and talk about uh, to increase, increase the lives of everyone. So thank you very much for your, your answer for that one, Shane. Much appreciated. No, no any worries. more questions, sir? Yeah. See ya. Um, what do you think you can do to like help uh, all this person? Uh, what do I think I can do to help? Sorry, we've been looking at obviously there's the there's the meet the the they've had a lot of media profile of, of players taking the knee like the Liverpool team and things. Is, is there anything yeah. that, that that Wigan Athletic or you personally can can do to uh, to um, to help diversity? So Yeah, I just think it's just spreading awareness. Um, one of the things that you probably hear me say, and I've probably said it four million times, is all it is is education and learning. Um, so it's just spreading awareness about the you know inequality or inequality in, in around the world. Things are happening, um, and it's been happening for a very long time. So the things that we can do is just spread that awareness. So as what Liverpool did, they took the knee and it was a, it was a powerful image um, and a public image so people could see, okay, so they're all taking the knee to show unity towards this. And this isn't just about, um, you know, if you are black or Asian. I think this, this fight is, is literally the people against racism in, in general. So um, I think it's more, the main thing is the education because I think... Um, some of the people that do have these ignorant thought, uh, pro this ignorant mind process is because they haven't, you know, they haven't been around um, people of colour or people who are different to them. So it's hard for them to understand someone who's almost alien to them, if you like. So I think it's just more of a case of spreading that awareness. Um, and if that can continue, uh, that that's a good thing. Um, now, for me personally, um, I, I, it's, it's hard at this moment in time because the, the, the COVID-19, um, so big protests, it's hard to, you know, go into big protests as I'm, you know, always getting tested and I've got to look at that as well. Um, but I have, um, I did go to the Manchester protest, but it wasn't where they were kind of in big packs. It was in Piccadilly Gardens. Um, and, I, and it was quite, at the time that I went there, I didn't go there when it was busy. I went there when it was a bit more dispersed. Um, and I went there just, just to be there for half an hour and just, just to listen to the messages that were being uh, said. And I thought that was important for me um, because it's, again, I'm still learning on it. You know, I might not have been... Um, What's the word? I might not have had 
as bad of experience than another person. So it's, it's always good to go. And I think it was very educational for myself. Um, and, and, and yeah, I just think the only thing we can do is spread awareness. That's the best way to tackle this, this, this issue. Um, and it will be a long issue. I mean, it's going to be a long process, sorry, a long process. But if we can keep spreading the word and we can keep, you know, showing awareness that this does happen and, you know, can we make a change? You know, I think, I think eventually it might not be in my lifetime. It, it could be in my lifetime, but, you know, hopefully it will get better and people will, will be uh, living in u unity and living in harmony. Thank you very much. Thank Mr. Sharkey, can I just follow on from that? Well, I share. Um, in regards to the football club, obviously we, we do a lot within the no. community and the fans, but for Shea himself to give his time this morning yeah. to come on and really educate us, our children. So when you're home tonight, you'll speak to your family. So the message gets passed on by not just 10 children in the classroom, but you'll hit 30, 40, 50 people by the end of bedtime tonight. So it's just, it's great that players like, like Shea are willing to come and educate ourselves because it is the lack of education which we need. So just thank you to you, Shea. Yeah. Yeah, thank no, you. no worries. Just want to say thank, thank you very much. Okay. For that. It's been brilliant. I can, I can just say, we, we've been talking about this topic today about diversity and just from a completely professional point of view, on the playground, just listening to some children, having conversations about race, about fairness, yeah, about equality, about playtime. We're having conversations yeah. now that need to be had. And, and, and I, think, I think that's brilliant from, from the, of the community trust, raising awareness and for yourself as well. To have a high profile role model like you to come on and share your thoughts and experiences with the children is, 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 been a, is, is, is a fantastic no, thing. So thank you very much. Time. So can we say a big thank anytime. you, guys? No. So, so the Thank children you. now have been tasked with producing an advert, Shay, that they will use yeah. around school to, to educate everybody else. So that's just, like Gaz said before, um, just furthering that message, really. So we're going to run a little competition um, and they will produce those adverts and we'll, we'll judge and we'll let you know what the outcome was. We'll send some over. Oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. Okay. I hope it all goes well. Thank you very much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you. No worries. You take care. Bye-bye.